Hi guys, welcome back to the Explorer Fly Fishing Concept Store. We've had a very cool scaly season this year and uh, between myself and Sean we thought we would take you through one or two patterns that have been um, very successful for us. Um, I had the pleasure of fishing with Gary uh, Glenn Young on the Umzumkulu not so long ago and he introduced me to a jig bugger. Um, since then I've adapted it to the colours that um, like I said, we've had a lot of luck on and yeah, we've come up with a pattern we like to call the June bug which is essentially a, a jig bugger version of a PTN. So I'll go through the ingredients first. We're going to be tying on the partridge wide gape um, jig hooks uh, in number 16. Some ultra wire, extra small in gold. Need a hot spot of some kind, so we're going to be using the Wopsy Super Bright in fluoro fire orange and the Wopsy Strung Marabou in dark brown. So with this fly, let's start it on here. Uh, Whatever bead size, whatever depth you're looking for, you obviously can just alter your beads accordingly. So for this example, um, I'm looking for, this is going to be used as my control fly when casting. So I'm using a 3mm bead. Silk wise, I'm using the Nano Silk 18O in dark brown. So all we're going to do is wrap the, secure the bead, get the thread down. Don't, you don't have to build it too much, but just build the head up so you actually catch the bead. So what I've done is I've taken just your standard ultra thread. And I've just put a couple of little strands together uh, to form, you probably got about, about 18 strands together and that's going to form the spring system on the back of your fly just so that your marabou doesn't wrap um, around the hook. So you're just going to tie that in backwards, tie down the front, and you're going to trim that as straight as you possibly can probably about four millimeters back so you give a nice little tag there at the back pop your nail underneath just to splay it open a little bit next step is you grab some marabou probably about also probably about 15 strands of marabou back uh, you're tying it like a pheasant tail uh, two two or three turns just to secure it two turns, uh, lift it and then almost just tie it back underneath so it actually catches nicely and you can bring up. So from that point now you've got your tail in and you've got the, a serious bunch of marabou sticking up here. You're not going to wrap this entire piece, you're going to split this so you're only going to have about four maybe five strands, you know, four or five strands there and you tie the rest of the pile just down the shank a couple of turns because um, obviously you can't cut it off because it's just going to pull out the back there. Chop that guy off. Taking your ultra wire, tie that down. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Get your thread to the front. From there you just try to separate the marabou that's sticking out the top, try and not grab the tail feathers. Um, so just make sure you, you get to separate them as need be. You can spin that guy just to make it nice and hairy. And then you simply rub it. So with my jig flies, I like, you're going to use the same marabou strand as your wing case. Um, so obviously your jig flies swim upside down, so you want your wing case upside down. And then just rub it. Get that out the way. Get the rubbing in. Okay, so we've wrapped the, the marabou up the front and we've wrapped the, the ribbing and we've kept the marabou that we've used as the tail as the wing case. Um, so don't cut your ribbing with your scissors unless you've got an old pair of scissors you want to get off but generally you can just spin it and it will come out. So you're taking your super right and you're just simply dubbing it on, put it up, if 
if it doesn't grip properly just put a little bit of just make that little front section a little bit wet just make sure you don't hit your feathers there try to keep your dubbing nice and tight on it and all you're simply going to do is wrap the hot spot down essentially and then you're just going to tie down the wing case um, I actually like using this marabou at the wing case because you find with pheasant tail and tying with nano silk uh, sometimes when you tie down the wing case the nano silk actually cuts your pheasant tail and there's no coming back really from cutting your wing case so I actually enjoy the fact that the, the marabou is a little bit more tougher than what the pheasant tail is tie that in Catch it nicely, trim everything off. Secure it. Um, I like to just trim off the excess dubbing just to make it a little bit more of a rounded profile. Vice, and then at the last, just pinch off the back. So you've got your tight foot tails aren't too too small. And there you have the the June bag, which is essentially a PTN jig bagger. Cool guys, hope you enjoy. Happy fishing, tight lines.